Hello and welcome to Become the Teapot. I'm Ian. And so am I. Now, Ian, you said last week that you hadn't seen this one before, so what did you think of it? Yeah, it's a little bit all over the place. The first 20 minutes are quite interesting. It sort of speeds through the premise and the introduction, which also includes a gunfight and a car chase. So pretty interesting sort of first 20 minutes. But yeah, I thought it was a fun film. Not a great film. It's an average, generic, early noughties film, really. Yeah. Pretty bad writing, but (laughs) I did find it entertaining. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, It is a borderline parody, but it is definitely from that early 2000 post-Matrix rip-off genre Mm -hmm. of filmmaking that we've talked about before. Yeah. Hayley described it as a, it feels like a Netflix action movie, which, you know, (laughs) two points, she's right. And I know exactly what she meant by that statement when she said it. It didn't need any further explanation. I was like, yeah, this falls into that exact category of very forgettable action movies. Yeah. I think the last act of the film is where it goes off the rails entirely and not in a good way. Literally. (laughs) Well, yeah. (laughs) Uh, It has got an exciting gunfight. Pretty cool. The end, the one after the rats. Yeah. It reminded me a lot of Equilibrium. Yes. A different early noughties film. Yeah, not the first shout out that film's got on this podcast, which is (laughs) probably two more than it's got on any other podcast ever. (laughs) I mean, it's a little bit all over the place, like I said. Of course, you've got a training chucked in there. Yeah. And Wesley's acceptance turnaround speed is stupidly quick. Yeah. You know, he gets introduced into this world and then he's like, yeah, all right, I'm in. I just don't get why he so sort of goes, yeah, all right, fine. I believe all of this and I'm in. I think the idea being is that he had such a bad life before, you know, he had to work in a booth in an office and things like that. Oh God, what loser would do that? It did seem like, and this is more so in the comic book than the film, certainly the the film has definitely downplayed some of these tendencies that it is very much a, um, a fantasy of a... 20 something year old deadbeat white guy mm. who basically hates his job hates his girlfriend etc etc uh as i say the film is nowhere near as bad as the comic book but there is a certain level of i'm special soon some people are going to realize that and then i get to run off with angelina jolie and kill people <laughs> and uh <laughs> and that's pretty much it i mean lots of outlandish things happen to him that car stunt where he gets picked up by angelina jolie in the car definitely would have crippled him fatality yeah and he, he managed to survive that somehow so that would have shattered his ankles or his kneecaps or something i mean most of his body i imagine but <laughs> i don't know how he ended up in the car i physically don't know what happened in that scene <laughs> And then, yeah, he does go from, like you say, he goes through that training montage and then does the classic thing of, well, he's done a training montage, so now he's better than all of the other assassins who have been doing this their whole life. Yeah. And he can kill them all. He's pretty much Neo. Mm -hmm. He is the one. It's just like, oh yeah, he's the one that can take down this bad guy. He can win. He can do all of it. But first, let's sit through a training scene where he needs to learn all these skills when surely five of these assassins could have done his job. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand, especially with the reveals at the end. They kind of came up with a reason. But like you say, if they just sent five assassins, it would have sorted it out. Mm. This idea that he was the only man who could get close enough to do the job, which is why they needed him, doesn't really pan out when everyone's a super assassin. And for the most part, they're better at his job than he is. Yeah. But he is. He's he's Neo. He's the bulletproof monk. He's whatever else from the early <laughs> 2000s. He's Johnny Equilibrium. I can't remember what happened in that film. <laughs> Johnny Equilibrium. Uh, <laughs> So he kills a bunch of people Mm -hmm. and that's his character arc, basically. Yeah. Should we talk about some of the other characters? Yeah. Who in particular? Well, you've got Angelina Jolie, who is playing Halle Berry from the comics. Yep. Doesn't say a great deal in this film, stands around, drives a car, manages to not chop people's legs off when she hits them with it. (laughs) That's a skill. And then she shoots herself in the head, the end. Yep. Great character there. And then you got Morgan Freeman playing Morgan Freeman in need of a paycheck. So those are the main characters. Yep. Other characters you want to touch on? Um, Chris Pratt, for example. Chris Pratt was there. Yep. Playing a douche who gets hit in the face. So that's good. Good. <laughs> Perfect role for him. Um, well, I think this may have been his first, or at least one of his first Hollywood films. All right. 
This would have been a year after he was in the OC, which is the first thing that I saw him in. Was he in the OC? Jeez. Yeah, he was one of the, not main cast, but it was in second or third season, I can't remember now, playing like a hippie kind of guy. Right. He's called Shay. Oh, I remember him. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. why not? I didn't realise that was Chris Pratt. Yeah, he doesn't have any dreadlocks, but he may as well have because he's like sort of like hippy dippy. I'm going to sit in my room and play acoustic whilst right. being on a beanbag and not wearing any clothes. Yeah, he seemed to, he started his career just playing douchebags and losers. And I think it's a role far better suited to him than the action hero, quite frankly. What? <laughs> Anyway, that's all that I had to say about him. No, that's fair. He's in this film. He is. And then there are other main characters like Guy Who Punches, Knife Man, and Russian. Yes. I don't I don't remember their names. I don't they had names. They had code names, didn't they? Yeah, one of them was there was the butcher, the, the baker, baker, the candlestick maker. maker. <laughs> so, um, and then there was Common, yeah. who was playing a character with a nickname, but it was just Common. Who's already got a nickname. The Repair Man. That was one of them. Yeah. Oh, he was the punching guy. Yeah, the punching guy. The who guy was, from Hustle. Uh, yeah, and not Mad Men. Um, Mad Dogs. Mad Dogs, there you go. Let's just name things that these actors have been in before. <laughs> uh, I'm out, to be it's honest. Pad the runtime. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Common was in John Wick 2. There you go. Yeah, he sort of turns up playing himself in largely forgettable action films, but he's never <laughs> terrible. He's just there again. Yeah. 